back to my channel. My name is Laura. I'm in the car waiting for my kids and I figured I'd do a video while I'm here. So I came up with this idea. Um, I have five authors that I have read in the past. I might have done this video before because I think I've mentioned these before. Um, I have, I was not a reader in high school. I hated reading. Even in elementary school, I hated reading. But there's five authors that I remember reading that got me to read. Uh, this is uh, authors that I read before Booktube, so before 2014. Um, and I've mentioned this before on my channel, and uh, so I'm going to do it again. So anyway, okay, so five authors that I remember reading uh, multiple books of. So the very first author that got me to read... I mean, she got me to read. I read that first book, and I was reading book after book after book. And that very first author that I got me to read is V.C. Andrews. She is an um, she passed away, so she's not writing anymore. Uh, but her first book, Flowers in the Attic, it got me to read. I I like the darkness of it. Um, I read all all of that series. I went on to the next series. I went on to the next series. Um, this is an author that uh, just sparked my attention. I could still remember reading the first book. Um, I actually took my husband to see the movie, which he hated. Um, I actually had the kids watch the, um, they had a TV series. Um, yeah. Um, V.C. Andrews would be my top author that's gotten, got me to read. Uh, I know she does uh, uh, inappropriate things like um, incest is in her first book, um, but uh, just the darkness of that book. And I still remember different parts of that book. Um, and I have a really bad memory, but she's the first one that got me to read. So, okay. So the second author that um, I um, read a lot of books of um, is John Grisham. Um, I was working in a law firm and I was traveling from, uh, from Staten Island, New York, uh, to Manhattan. Um, and, uh, this author, um, I really liked the, um, lore, um, part of his, uh, books. Um, and I read almost all of his books back in the eighties, um, and nineties. Um, I read The Firm, I read Pelican Grief, I read um, The Chamber, um, I I read mo a lot of his books in the beginning. I was reading them on the train, going this to work, going home, I was a legal secretary, um, I just that part of the legal for, um, legalness of the books uh, really intrigued me to read all of his books. So John Grisham is uh, one of my uh, favorite authors. I haven't, I think I've picked up a few of his recent books, but his old, old books and the, uh, the ones that he wrote, um, like really a long time ago, those are the ones that got me into reading. So yes, yeah, so that's the second author. The third author, now this one's a stretch because I only remember, I remember reading a lot of her books, but I don't remember which ones I read. The only one I could remember, okay, the author's name is Daniel Steele. I remember liking her books and I remember reading a lot, but the only one I really remember is Kaleidoscope. Um, and I don't know which one, which other ones I uh, read by her. So I've been collecting, I have a stack of Daniel Steele books that I'd like to read eventually. Um, but I think I stopped reading her because most of her books started to become similar and I just wanted something different but I did read a lot of her books I just don't remember which ones I wish I would have kept track of which ones I read but she was one of the authors that I remember reading a lot of so yeah so anyway so the third I'm up to the fourth author the fourth author is a stretch as well this one um remember these are all authors that I read before booktube um, and the fourth author is Stephanie Meyer. Um, I was obsessed with Twilight. Uh, yes, I know it's not a great book, um, but I loved um, vampires and I just loved um, 
it got me to read and um, I read it from cover to cover I read all three books and if you know if you've been watching my channel you know that I did not read the fourth book yet um, I didn't know there was a fourth book um, until recently uh, when I started my YouTube channel um, and I was supposed to read it last year but I only read half of it so I still need to read it it's a very fat book uh, Breaking Dawn so I have not finished it yet um, I need to finish it this year hopefully um, but she did get me to read um, and um, um, yeah I know it's she's not that great but uh, as long as I'm reading and uh, I know Twilight's not that great a lot of people don't like it um, but it got me to read so yeah so she's one of the authors uh, that got me to read so yeah so that's why I'm naming her okay the last author is um, a lot of people don't like her but um, this author um, there was a point in time uh, I had my kids in 2004 um, and I was not able to read at all. Once you have triplets and you're raising triplets on your own, because my husband works 24 seven, I mean, uh, I was raising those triplets by myself. Um, and I did have help with my mother. My mother came to live with us for six months. Um, and she did help us in the beginning, but, uh, once my mother left, it was just me. I was changing all the diapers. I was doing everything. My husband fed the kids maybe, um, he did not do any diapers. Yes, I know. Everybody would have, like, divorced him or whatever. He just did not help out at all. So it was just me raising the kids. Anyway, so here's an author. Uh, when I just started reading again, um, I think the kids were, I don't know, maybe 10, 9, 10 years old when I started reading again. So I had, like, 10 years that I didn't read. Um, so this author, I know. Everybody hates the, this author, but um, you think about Twilight. I like Twilight. So what author did I like? It was fan fiction of Twilight. So yes, she got me to read again. And uh, it's E.L. James. Yes, I read Shades of Grey. And I read it from the first book, the second book, the third book. I was engrossed in that series. Um, it got me to read. And... Uh, I know a lot of people don't like it because of um, the, the sexual part of the book, um, but the very first book has a lot of sex in it. Uh, the second book, it, it goes into a story, so if you have not read it yet, um, there is a story to it. Um, they do get married at the end, uh, sorry for any spoilers, but uh, so it does uh, get into a story, uh, but she got me to read, so uh, that is my fifth author. I know a lot of people hate that book and hate that series, but uh, I'm one of those ones that if it gets me to read and um, yeah, I, she's going to be on my top. So yeah, so as long as she got me to read and that's it for today. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I will be doing another video um, right after this one. I'm going to be doing my auto buy authors after booktube. So here we go. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.